Okay, in this video, I'm going to provide a short demonstration of how to obtain probit regression results using Stata. So uh, the data set contains a set of variables, uh, terminate, avoidance of disclosure, symptom severity, and year, uh, year and sex right here. Um, basically, the scenario is that we are st uh, studying predictors of the likelihood of um, individuals in counseling terminate early from therapy. And so the terminate variable is a binary outcome variable coded zero for not uh, terminating early, one for terminating early. The predictors include avoidance of disclosure and symptom severity. Both of these are treated as uh, continuous variables. Sex is a dummy variable that's coded zero for male, one for female. And then year, we're not actually going to be using that particular variable. So what we're going to do is run um, just uh, a basic probit uh, regression model uh, in Stata. Uh, before we do this, you'll see that uh, it's, it's probably kind of hard to read uh, the screen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to go under preferences and kind of blow this up just a bit so you can see uh, what's uh, what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to go down to, uh, I'm just going to go down to this little presentation mode right here. And you can see that it's a lot bigger font, uh, but it's the same thing. You'll also see the command line is appearing up here. But um, to run the analysis through, through the menu, we'll, we'll go to statistics, we'll go to binary outcomes, and then go down to probit regression right here. And um, so I'm going to click on that. And so next, uh, you'll see that I've added the terminate variable right here. And then the independent variables, um, if they weren't here, I would be just basically selecting those as well. So there's avoidance of disclosure, symptom severity, and sex as predictors. Next, I will uh, click on OK. And so now we've run the basic probit regression model. And um, so you'll see that first off, there's a pseudo R square. This is McFadden's pseudo R square. So that's the value right there. We have the likelihood ratio chi square. Basically, um, this is the chi square value and this is the p value. And so we're testing the fit of our model that contains the full set of predictors in relation uh, uh, relative to a null model or an intercept only model. And so if this is significant, which is what we do see right here, that would indicate that, that our full model containing the predictors represents a significant Im improvement in fit over the null model. When we look at the coefficients right here, um, you know, basically, we have to keep in mind the coding on our dependent variable. So it's coded zero for uh, not terminating early, one for terminating early. So a positive coefficient like we see right here would indicate that higher scores on the predictor variable are associated with a greater likelihood of early termination. So basically what the, so you can see right here that avoidance of disclosure, there's a positive coefficient and we see that it's statistically significant. And that would indicate that individuals who um, who are higher on avoidance of disclosure are more likely to terminate early than those who are lower on avoidance of disclosure. The symptom severity variable um, predictor is, uh, is, has a negative uh, relationship with uh, early termination. So uh, we also see that that is statistically significant. So that tells us then that uh, individuals scoring higher on symptom severity uh, were less likely to terminate earlier uh, than those individuals scoring lower on symptom severity. Sex um, is, again, coded zero for male and one for female. Now, first off, note that this, uh, this uh, variable right here was not uh, a significant uh, predictor in the model. So, uh, but we do see a negative coefficient here. So the negative coefficient, if this had been significant, that would tell us then that essentially females were less likely to terminate earlier than, than males, or to terminate earlier uh, as opposed to males. So next, um, let's say that we want to get some post-estimation information. So we can go down to post-estimation. And if we click on uh, specification diagnostics and goodness of fit uh, analysis, you can see that there are various uh, options that are available to us. I'm gonna click on goodness of fit test right here. And you can see that we get, uh, first off, you see Pearson, Pearson or Hosmer Lima Show Goodness of Fit test. Um, I can click on that and you can see that now we have our, uh, uh, our Goodness of Fit test. If this is non-significant, that would be an indication that our model is fitting the, the data well. And so that seems to be the case as well. So 
you know, basically you can see that our likelihood ratio chi-square uh, tests and our hosmer Liebig show tests are both indicating their model fits well. And then our uh, McFadden pseudo R-squares is uh, pretty large, uh, also indicating a good model fit to the data. Um, and then again, with the individual uh, predictors, we see that, that avoidance of disclosure um, is a positive uh, and significant predictor of early termination, and then symptom severity is a negative um, but significant uh, predictor of early termination. So once again, individuals who uh, avoid disclosure were more likely to terminate early earlier, uh, whereas those individuals who were higher on symptom severity were less likely to terminate uh, early. Uh, just another thing to note under the post-estimation, if we want to go back uh, to that and see if I can find it here, um, we'll go back to this box right here. So we can also get, um, or actually we're going to go to the classification table, sensitivity and specificity results which it's actually right, right up here already. So I'm gonna click on OK, and you can see that essentially uh, what we have right here, true, this is uh, reflecting whether a person um, essentially terminated early or not. So uh, this is, you know, actual results fall within this column right here. So 20 individuals were found to terminate early, uh, whereas 25 individuals did not terminate early. And then of those, uh, 20 individuals who terminated early, 15 were correctly classified by the model to terminate early. So basically what that translates into is a specificity of 92%, whereas, uh, or excuse me, a sensitivity of 75%, excuse me. And then uh, in terms of uh, the, the individuals who did not uh, terminate early, you, you know, basically we had 23 individuals uh, that were correctly classified to not terminate early. So if we take the 23 and divide by 25, that's what gets us our 92 uh, percent. So that's the specificity. So the sensitivity is really referring to, uh, in this case, the percentage of cases that were actually observed to, to terminate early and uh, were correctly predicted to terminate early by the model, whereas the specificity was reflecting the uh, percentage of those individuals who actually did not terminate early that were correctly predicted by the model to not terminate early.